was ecstatic um, and amazed at how quickly I was able to open and close and move the fingers and the thumb uh, on the eyelid. Uh, and it, it feels so close to the real thing. It's the next best thing. <laughs> and who could ask for any more? The eye limb stands for an intelligent limb. It's a uh, it's a elect electrode based hand that allows multiple movements. Dawn is an ideal candidate because she's had secondary complications associated with her amputation over the last 37 years and they are osteoarthritis of her shoulder and her elbow, she's had a fracture of her elbow, she's had uh, rotator cuff injuries and that's because of the amount of force that she has placed on that limb with her conventional arm over the last 37 years. Dawn is probably going to be around for maybe another 30 to 40 years on this planet and anything that we can do to allow her to decrease those forces on her body to still have a high activity level of what she does, that is our end goal. And Dawn, when we first spoke, was an ideal candidate because she had the muscle strength, she had the nerve innervation that we need for the processors to work, and uh, again, from that point forward, we just spoke a little bit further about, is this something that she has the potential to benefit from? And that brought us to today. When I see my two granddaughters, um, hopefully we'll be real soon. Uh, I uh, would like to do a flower garden with them, and also I would love to color and paint with them. So I'm looking forward to that, and both of them are avid drawlers, so uh, they can help Grandma use her new hand.